With the recent leaks of JJK earlier this morning, it was revealed that Gegi Akutami is going to be taking a two-week hiatus. And the reason for that is because of his fallen health. For instance, his health has been getting worse and worse as of late. This is something that can be traced back months ago when he had an offer comment literally talking about how his throat is swollen, his sinuses are infected, and his head was pounding, all from allergies, of course. And basically, while doing this, he was giving us some of the best content we have seen, at least in a shonen manga as of late, because everybody is talking about JJK. So when you factor all this in, this man actively for a while has been riding JJK while really undergoing some really underlying health problems. And the sad thing is, is this is not the first time and this is not going to be the last time that Gegi and other mangaka are going to face health problems while having to write a weekly manga that has such a widespread audience around the world. And it's interesting to note, though, something about all of this is that, you know, this is a post from, you know, earlier this year also in March talking about it that there's a bunch of offers that face this health crisis like they just have a lot of health issues you see for instance like Horikoshi he's constantly having health problems Gegi obviously right now Tabata as well you know we have constantly seen over the years just many offers his health deteriorate and it's clearly something going on behind the scenes where either the offers just don't take care of themselves it could be something maybe medical pre-existing before they're writing manga or it can be all the above to where it's even shown and jump just not giving them a good schedule to work with whatever the case may be it does seem from what I've noticed over the years when an offer no longer works at weekly shonen jump and they kind of gravitate away from being a weekly manga offer at least for sh you know shonen jump usually their health improves to an extent it, and now this isn't always the case but most of the time i've seen an overwhelming improvement of an offer's health when this actually happens now to be fair you know, writing at your desk for hours upon hours, weeks at a time, that's grueling on your back. It's grueling on your arms and wrists, and as much as people want to say all they're doing is drawing, there is a lot of effort, a lot of time, and a lot of, you know, you know, things that are put into making some of our favorite chapters of all time. But the thing is, is when you see this type of stuff where, like, people is now ridiculing, you know, Gaggy for taking a two-week break, you actually have a bunch of people that are coming after Gaggy saying, really, you just give a seven pages and all that of JJK this week. How dare you leave us on a cliffhanger? How dare you not give us a conclusion? You have these people that are just so unwell in the head that they are demanding their offer to give them more content while they're literally at bottom tier of their health. Like they're at 1% health bar, so to speak. And it's just like, really? Like, really? The, the, people are just really super, super gross. But to kind of extend upon this, the overall, you know, shaming of offers and disrespecting offers is not something that is relatively new. I mean, we could trace this back to the Tokyo Ghoul days. I covered this years ago, where, you know, when there was that iconic moment with Tokyo Ghoul with certain events that happened with Kaneki, people went out of their way to burn their Tokyo Ghoul volumes because, you know, they were very upset with some of the directions that the story took, even if it was foreshadowed for a very long time, and they were already 100 plus chapters chapters deep into the story. But the point of the matter was, is that, you know, disrespecting offers is something that has just happened time and time again. We even have something like this with Chainsaw Man that happened two days ago, and you know what, I'm gonna let the video play for itself, and you can kind of see what they're doing here. It, it's honestly wild. This, this is from chapter 167 of Chainsaw Man, their reaction to it, so to speak. They grab their volumes, dump it in the trash can. Grab their other volumes, as you can see, they dump it in the trash can, and I mean, you factor all this in, they're getting everything that they own of Chainsaw Man, they, you know, they threw it out, and then they're putting Jojo right there, and it's like, wait a minute, you're, you're, you're putting Jojo, like, don't get me wrong, Jojo, great series, love it, like, t almost perfect, it's, it's all, all, close to a masterpiece, okay, but you're not telling me the content that is in Chainsaw Man, you know, isn't, you know, like, obviously they're different stories, but there's also questionable content in Jojo, okay, Th there is, like, Dio is a good example of this, and you're telling me you draw the line at Chainsaw Man, but then you put Jojo in its place, even if this is for a meme or clout chasing, the fact that we have so many people throughout the years that actively clout chase by disrespecting offers is just wild to me, I don't know how stuff like this continues to generate people, like, to generate actual people that are agreeing with it, but I also want to point out, when this person dumps, you know, their chainsaw man into the trash bin that trash bin just straight clean you you know for a fact once this 20 second clip was done they got the little clout chase and all that you know uh they they grabbed the volumes out of their trash can and they put them back on the shelf you, you know for a fact they did because obviously it was very popular to crap on chapter 167 of chainsaw man at least on twitter if you you know just 
somehow the themes that have been present in the story randomly disturb you. It's just like, it makes me wonder if this person really has even read the volumes that he has on his shelf. But uh, anyways, with that being pushed aside though, Gegi is obviously uh, not feeling too well, but circling back to the main point, and it's really sad just seeing that instead of people being really supportive, there is people being supportive, okay, I'm not saying there isn't, but instead of seeing a lot of that, all I've seen mostly today is people just straight up being just very upset, overwhelmingly upset that the series is having to go on a two-week break, and that uh, Gaggy, you know, is just a fraud, or, you know, he doesn't know what to do with the story and all that, that's why he's taking a break, but it's like, no, his health has obviously taken a downward spiral. There is literally evidence for this that's been ongoing for months. I mean, finding out about his health and how he had, like, uh, you know, swollen throat, etc. So anyone that, you know, actually has a long-term memory and not goldfish memory is able to know that, yeah, his health hasn't been the best. And this can be said for Horikoshi, this can be said for Tabata, it can be said for almost any author. And... It's just sad. It's just sad seeing this. I mean, I guess it comes with the territory when a series just gets so popular, like JJK, that you'll have fans like this. It's just... It's gross, man. It's just super gross. But uh, regardless, Gegi Akatami, you know, all I'm going to say is, is I know that you're feeling bad. Take as much time as you need. I know the true fans of JJK are going to be fine. Sit back and wait for your return because at the end of the day, the manga doesn't matter as much as the health of the offer. That's just the truth. I'd rather wait a year, few years, etc. for the manga than, you know, him deteriorate his health to the point where he can never write a chapter again. I, I think it's very clear which is more important. But uh, anyways... I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I just briefly want to discuss this because uh, leaks did come out for the chapter. I might make a separate follow-up video maybe tomorrow or something talking about the leaks because there's some stuff. But I wanted to make this video more around the health issue of Gaggy, but also talking about the disrespect, uh, disrespectful nature of like offers in general, what they do to people do to offers. But I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, stay healthy. Chibi out.